Yo, what's up guys? Seek here. Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the new agent Harbour so you can start playing in your ranked games. For this video, we're going to focus on all the specifics of the abilities. Starting with his cascade. Here, you throw the wall. The wall travels at a walking speed, so any agent can run behind it and not catch up with it, but any sort of utility like a jet dash, a neon sprint, or a brimstone beacon means you will overrun the wall. So any other agent that doesn't use movement utility can follow this wall perfectly fine. After stopping the wall, the wall lasts for 5 seconds and players here are slowed. Harbour's Cove ability has a left click and right click for overthrow and underthrow. Has 500 HP, can be shot by anyone, so careful to make sure your team aren't shooting it. But when it's not shot, it lasts 15 seconds after being fully formed. Another useful thing with Harbour's Coat is it can be used for lineups. Just ve very simple here. It's a bit like a Viper Orb. So you can do lineups to cover up areas, which is kind of more effective as a Viper Orb because the whole shooting. It's also a great combo with a Sage Wall, as a gun doesn't have enough bullets to be able to shoot through both at the same time. Now we're going to be looking at Harbour's signature really, High Tide. This lasts for 12 seconds after being fully formed and also has some lineups for them. Here's one for B Ascent now. You can aim down this alleyway to catch Market and as you pass through Market you curve it and then you can also grab it. This is a very easy one to learn and some of the rules for these maps vary in difficulty. So be sure to try them out. I'll have some guides on the channel soon. Another thing to know about Harbour's Wall is it has a maximum curve depth that it can actually achieve. You see here, this is a very simple curve, you know, and is effective for 90% of the stuff that you use. But if you flick too quickly, you cut it kind of messes the curve a little bit. So be sure to be careful when you're using these walls, especially with some of the lineups. There's some finicky ones, like this one on A over here, where you can like throw it through here, then you have to curve it across heaven. It can be a bit finicky to get perfect. As you see here, this one isn't quite the best, as they can stand and see over this, which is obviously is not what you want. This one you need to get perfect across here, and because of the curves, can be a little messy to get right, so definitely make sure you practice those. Now lastly, we're going to be looking at his ultimate. Now, the area on this is massive. It covers the majority of most sites and most areas. As you can see here, for Ascent, it very easily covers both sites. Putting the assault down lasts 9 seconds and travels forward a little bit, so sometimes I recommend playing it a bit backwards just to get that extra space in areas like b you know you can play it like this and it will push forward and still cover down boathouse which means you just get that extra climb around here most of the time doesn't really make a difference but it's just nice to have that extra space for it now one thing to note about harbour is so far, I don't think he's a great solo controller agent, so I definitely recommend pairing up with someone like Brimstone, or even Omen. However, that might change overall, and I'll keep you guys updated on this, but if you like the video, please just leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for more Harbour content. Goodbye.